many times in your drawings, you're going to need lines to get a little bit bigger or a little bit shorter. You will also need your lines to abut up to other lines. That's where the trim and the extend commands come in. Now, I've combined these two commands together because they're practically identical in function. In fact, with a little bit of keyboard magic, you can even trim or extend with either the trim or extend button. So the trim command will shorten your objects by cutting away the parts you don't want along a cutting line. Now the extend command will lengthen your lines up to an extension line. So let's open up a file. Let's look at the trim extend example files. Here I have just a series of different lines to kind of demonstrate to you how these are going to function. I have a series of concentric circles with two lines that are parallel passing through them. And here I have just a series of vertical and horizontal lines. Now to start the trim command, you just type in trim. Or you type in the letters T and R. Don't type in the letter T, that'll be text. TR for trim. You can also find it here in the ribbon. If you come up to your home tab on the modify panel, this is the trim command. The flyout here will get you to either the trim or the extend. We're going to look at the trim first. It's quite simple. You start the command and now you select your cutting line. That's the line that all of your other lines are going to be cut by. Now you can pick more than one line. In fact, I can pick all of the lines if I really want to. I don't want to right now, I want to keep it simple. So select your cutting line. Once you're finished, press return. Now you select the part of the line that you want to go away. Now it's going to go away wherever it starts from up to the point where it touches that line. So this part here is going to go away. When I move my mouse over, you get a little bit of a preview. You see the red X, that means it's going to delete it or close it or get rid of it. And it kind of grayed out. If I come down to the bottom, same sort of thing happens. So if I select it, then I've trimmed my line. And you can trim multiple lines. You don't have to trim just one line and use the trim command for every one little line. Let me show you. Start the trim command again, press enter. Select this line to be a cutting line. Press the enter button again. And I can pick all of these. I can pick them one at a time, or I can use a crossing selection window. And that's the trim command. Now there are a few tricks that you can use with the trim command. First I'm going to select my cutting line options. I'm going to select multiple lines here. In fact I'm going to select all of these. Press return. And now you have different options here. You have your fence or your crossing options. So if I pick my fence, I can tell it to delete whatever passes through that line. And it trims just that part. Crossing works the same way. I pick edge, I can extend or no extend. You can see here it's just going to pick the edge. On the extend option there, if you pick no, then the cutting edge line must pass through the objects that you want to trim. Now let's start the trim command again. I'm going to select this circle on the outside here as my trimming cutting line. Press return. Now let's say I want to trim some things I have. I say, oh, wait a minute, I need this line to extend to the circle. Hold down the shift key, select the line, select the other line, and then it extends it. So that's how you turn the trim command into an extend command. Now let's look at the extend command. If I come up here to the ribbon, I find the extend command here, and it works very similarly. I select my extension line or the line that my objects will be extended to. Press return. You see here, I can't extend a circle onto itself. But what I can do is type in extend or EX for the command, and I can pick a line that's far away. I'm going to select that line, press enter, and then scroll back down here and pick on all of these lines. You can pick them again one at a time or with a selection set. This line I didn't pick. So you see it works very similarly to the trim command. And if I start the extend command again, Select my circle. So now I've selected this for my extension line. And if I hold down the shift key and I highlight these lines, my extend command turns into a trim command. So you might be asking, why would I want to use an extend as a trim or a trim as an extend? Let me show you. I'm going to erase those just to get them out of the way. I'm going to start the trim command. I'm going to select all of these lines and circles. Press return. 
Now I'm going to trim some things away. So now I have a series of trims and extends. So I can use a lot of these commands in the exact same way as I did before, and I can trim them or I can extend them depending on what I need to do. So you can make some very fancy things with just one command and it saves time. So I'm able to extend and trim by manipulating the line work with relative line work in the same area. And I don't have to stop one command and I can keep going back and forth. So it allows you also to trim away. So no, I don't like that. I can extend it back to put it back, etc.